So this will correct the connectivity issue in the left Joy-Con. You need a Y-type bit, a very small one. It's a three-wing, semi-secure. That's the outer one. Inside, you just need a small flat head or a black stick and then a small Phillips head. There are four exterior screws to be removed. And when you go to open it up, this black part is part of the back. So you can grip it to pry this open. And the whole thing just kind of comes apart. There are two ribbon cables on this side, so don't hulk it. There we go. The battery connects right down here. This is where you need to get use your black stick or your metal screwdriver to pop it out. The battery is held down with two small strips of adhesive. Can remove that. Next this little tray comes out. There are three gold screws here, here, and down here that need to be removed. The two silvers can stay. One thing to note is that this tray does also have a small ribbon cable coming off the side. It goes up to the trigger. Be aware. So, here, right here, you may need to go straight down to get this shot. This trace, there, 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 a the little rectangular bit, that is the Bluetooth antenna. Now it has no insulation on it and the ones that can be affected. No big. If you have some conductive foam laying around, you can stick it there, or you can scab into this piece from right over here. We've removed that and several controllers now, no effect on range or anything, so that seems to be fine. Tweezers would be helpful. Yeah, you just pull that up and stick it right over here. And then reassemble. That's it.